seven. Haven't we made enough sandwiches yet? No. Gloria, guys watching a Super Bowl game get very hungry. That's right, especially when they're watching in a the saloon there where they're doing a lot of drinking, see? So keep going. We gotta have at least 75 of them. How much are you charging for them? Buck 50 each. I'm making a little dough on this. Let's see, uh, buck 50 times 75 is five over is over five cents, 85, five cents, three, five, this is the... <laughs> I'll tell you what's better than this, see? <clears throat> make 25 more. Then make 100 all together, and we charge $2 a piece, so uh, 100 times 2, uh, that's, uh, uh, we got $200. You always were good with numbers. Yeah. <laughs> How come you're only giving them ham sandwiches? Because my saloon is a ham chain, you know? Some saloons is liver waste. The other saloons is bologna there. You got other saloons, there's lettuce and tomato. I'm just a <clears throat> kind of gay gents, you know? <laughs> but my saloon has always been ham. If Michael's gonna help out, I don't see why I can't come down to the bar and help oh, out. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want them men grabbing for my daughter. I'm hiring another girl for that. Yeah, who? <laughs> boom Boom Turner. The very same one. First girl ever to wear steel belt at Radio Brazil. Her name is Mildred. Uh, the name don't change this year. Daddy, I hope you're paying Michael for this. Yeah, paying him the same I paid him to help me on New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve, you didn't pay me anything. Well, I'll pay you twice that. You know, it's lucky for you we're related. Oh, jeez. That's the kind of luck poor Mr. Lincoln had the night he went to the movies. <laughs> he sat in John Wilkes's boot. Archie oh, thinks he's going to take in a thousand dollars tonight. Thousand uh, dollars, really, Daddy? A thousand dollars at least. With that big super TV screen I hired to watch the game on there, that chain is going to be packed out. Hey, you, this would be the best business you ever had. Oh, I think so. Well, well, barring the day the Sons of Ireland bus broke down outside the bar, you know, and them 47 Ed McMahons come rushing in there. <laughs> Arch, how much is it going to cost you to rent this big TV screen? Oh, 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 plenty, but I'm laying it off on the customers. I'm charging them a little extra for every drink, you know? What do you mean, like a cover charge? Arch, you can't do that in a neighborhood bar. You can't do it. You got to keep out the rip rap, don't you? Those are your biggest customers. <laughs> To you. I don't understand why people would pay extra to see a football game that they can see at home for free. They're glad to pay extra. Spend a couple of hours awaiting the wives. Oh, maybe the wives will want to come. What do you think? We want women hanging around there during a Super Bowl game, running around asking stupid questions like, when are we going to see Reggie Jackson? <laughs> Gee, mustard in the eye, mustard in the eye. Wash it out, it's burning me here. It's burning me here, mustard in my eye. You see, the daughter does a thing like that. Oh, she get it out of there. Don't you know there's two very dangerous chemicals in mustard? What? Acid and mustard. You get them things in your eye, you can destroy the rectal nerve. Oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. Sorry, that don't restore my hindsight, yeah? <laughs> Mom, meet her. Let's get the hell out of here. She'll go after my other eye with an egg beat. Oh, don't forget, after the game, we're going out to dinner. We're going to do... Oh! Hi, oh. <laughs> oh, 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 Wait, don't do that. And don't do that. Put the sandwich back into the box after your chops got all salivated all over the thing. <laughs> Now get going, will you? It's a disgrace, a whole corner of the thing gone. Oh, well, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hi, Joey. Here's every white I said. I'm going to take him upstairs.
is. I don't want all this to be passed on to him. Now you can't wait. Well, I'll take Joey upstairs. Come on, sweetheart. Michael, come with me. Yeah, don't worry, Joey. We'll teach you a better vocabulary. But how do you like that? His first word was... <laughs> What are you gonna do? Sleep over the poor house again? Well, sure, why not? At this hour of night, traveling on a subway with that swell after dark set unzipping themselves up and down a train. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess I'll have to sleep at our house. Oh, all right. Now you're coming to your senses. In the kids' old room. <laughs> You couldn't sleep up there by yourself? No, I just come out for a breath of fresh air. Yeah, well, that's always nice, just before you sign in. A little breath of fresh air. <laughs> so much for the fresh air. <laughs> I was noticing that myself. Guess maybe we ought to paint the old porch one of these days, huh? Yeah. So what color would you think? Oh, light gray would be nice. Yeah, light gray is always nice. Or maybe green. Green, yeah. Or blue. Blue's blue. <laughs> maybe a little beach. You always had good taste, you. Thank you. Well, so how you been feeling personally since you left? Oh, pretty good, considering. What do you mean, considering? You ain't been having any more of them hot flushes, have you? Oh, no! Well, I don't know when the mental paw is supposed to be on. <laughs> How you been feeling? Oh, I can't complain, can't complain. Remember that pain in the shoulder I always got, you know, every time I throw my head back? Yeah, has that been bothering you? No, yeah, no, I cured it. What did you take? Well, nothing, I just don't throw my head back no more. <laughs> I'm glad. Well, as long as you're here, read it, I, I might... Was she pretty? Oh, now, why do you want to get back into that? Either? Jeez, I told you a thousand times. It didn't mean a thing to me. It meant something to me. Well, what are you going to do? What are you going to hold one little picket diddle over my head for the whole rest of my life? <laughs> No, because if I did, it'd be the rest of my life, too. Oh, you me. Clark, Clark, Clark. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Don't get up, Michael. I wasn't planning to. Because <laughs> if you hug me, you'd stick to me. Oh, my, that subway was so hot. So crowded, so jam-packed, I wanted to go, ah! And I did. <laughs> you did? What happened, Gloria? Nothing. Nobody even turned around. <laughs> I'm going upstairs to take a shower, and I may never come out. Quick, somebody say something cold to me. Hi, Miss Lorenzo. That's not cold enough, Mike. <laughs> Would you like a cold drink? Now you're getting warmer. Oh! Oh, and you wanted me to get colder. <laughs> oh, 
Fridge, I'll just crawl right in with it. Oh. Oh, Frank said thanks for the use of the mixer. You know, the motor was heating up, so I overhauled it for you. Oh, thank you, Wiseman. Oh, you're so handy. How did you ever learn all that? Oh, self-defense, Edith. <laughs> self-defense. I just got so sick and tired of being talked down to by repairmen. Lady, you don't understand these things. Take my word for it. It's a big job. Oh, Ooh. yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, well, I got even for all of us. I read a forbidden book, The Handyman's Guide to Home Repair. Oh, my. And I learned to fix things myself. And every time I turn a screw, I like to think there's some repairman on the other end of it. <laughs> I know you're not a movie star or nothing, but I think I'm getting to be a fan of yours. Oh, Edith, thank you. Maybe we can exchange autograph pictures later. Oh, yeah. Yeah, listen. <laughs> you, you were going to tell me places to shop in the neighborhood. I, I have a couple of things to pick up. Yes, yeah, sit down, and I'll tell you. Now... The first place to go is Ferguson's Market. It's right around the corner. But when you go to check out, don't go to Agnes on counter two. Because if you forget to ask her for green stamps, she won't give them to you. Because she's, she's saving them for her own books. <laughs> Ghoulie on counter one. She's wonderful with green stamps. But you gotta watch her on change. <laughs> Not that she's dishonest. It's just that she catches colds all the time and that makes her breathe through her mouth and her glasses fog up and she don't... <laughs> Libby's Fish Market, and for fruits and vegetables, you go to Roselli's. His stuff is fresher. Only if the tomatoes are squishy, that means Mrs. Goldblatt's been there ahead of you. <laughs> She's a squeezer. <laughs> well, I guess that's everything. Any questions? No, I got it all. <laughs> now, what was it you wanted to buy? A house coat and a pair of slippers. <laughs> Have you started cooking dinner yet? No, I was just well, gonna... Well, don't. I'm gonna have Frank come over and make you a big gourmet dinner right in front of your very oh, eyes. Oh, I don't want him to go to all that trouble. Well, it's no trouble at all, and Frank will love it. Excuse me. Oh. Just wanted to get something to eat. But, Mike, we're gonna have dinner pretty soon. Oh, that's all right. I'll be finished by then. <laughs> I mean, wait. I'll tell you where you can get your house coat and slippers at Crestless Department Store. That's where Gloria is. Oh, you girls, can get I your dinner you, This ain't the hardest day in the last five years. Where the hell are you? Hey, did Al and Trudy get in yet? Yeah, they're gonna be here very soon. They called from the airport about an hour ago. I know those two are kooks, but it beats me why they're getting married on New Year's Eve. Why not? If the wedding night is dull, at least you got the Rose Bowl game to look forward to. <laughs> what kind of percolator did you get him? I didn't get him a percolator. I got him a hibachi. A hibachi? Yeah, you know, it's one of those Japanese gadgets for burning dinners indoors. <laughs> Honey, they'll probably get five percolators. Who's gonna buy him a hibachi? No one, because it's a dumb gift. Michael, Al and Trudy are our best friends, and when we decide what we're getting him for a wedding present, then you got no right to change my mind for me. I mean, I thought our marriage was a partnership. It is. Honey, if you would have been there, you would have said to get the hibachi. How do you know I would have said that? Because I know you, honey. A husband knows a wife after six years of marriage. He knows what she thinks and what she feels. I could hear you saying, honey, let's not get him a percolator. Let's get him that adorable little orange hibachi. 
You sounded very excited when you said it. <laughs> if you know what I think and what I feel, then you should know I like to be asked. All right, all right. I'll take the hibachi back and get him a percolator. Don't bother knowing you. You'd come back with a roto rooter. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Our marriage is a partnership, and we do do things together. It's always been half and half of us. Oh, you, you, you better see what's wrong. Maybe he's hungry or wet. I fed my half. You die for yours. <laughs> all right. Hey, Joey. How you doing? You all right? What's the matter, you wet? You got such a limited vocabulary. <laughs> hey, Glory, he's dry. Good. You know, I really feel sorry for babies. When they cry, you never know what's bothering them. It would be great if a baby could say, attention, please, I need a bit of nourishment. <laughs> or excuse me, I seem to have done it in my diety again. <laughs> You're crazy. Hey, honey, I'm sorry about the hibachi. You should be. From now on, any decision I make, I consult you first. I'm through giving orders in this house. Get the door. It could be Alan Trudy. I gotta hide the gift. Well, hurry. Put it in there. Yeah, all right. Hurry up, Michael. Yeah. You got okay. it? Yeah, open the door. Okay. Right. Glory. Trudy. Hey, No, no, the camp was owned by a Jewish guy. Uh, Nihak is Cohen, spelled backwards. <laughs> wow. We had some great times there, great didn't time. we? Hey, remember the time we got lost in the woods? We were really roughing it. Oh, 24 yeah. hours, we didn't have any food, we had no water. No toilet paper. Right, yeah, and with those leaves, it was really roughing. <laughs> I hate to tell you where we got poison ivy. <laughs> they told us, Camp Nihak. <laughs> oh, All the baby. Oh, there, I'm he dying. there he is. There he is. Mike, you know, I just can't picture you with a baby, you know? I didn't think you had it in you. I didn't. She did. <laughs> I just can't wait till we have our own. Well, you're getting married tonight, so with any luck at all, you only have to wait nine months. Seven. <laughs> we ran out of luck. Oh, Trudy, huh? yeah. 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 You crazy nut boy! You're a nut boy! That's terrific! Isn't it? Oh, sure, sure, we couldn't be happier about it. We planned on having the baby in 1979, but uh, what the heck, I'll be a little older a little sooner. Huh? And we'll be a little wiser a little later. Oh, uh, well, I think it's great. Yeah. Come on in the kitchen, Trudy. I made a fresh pot of coffee. This place is beautiful. Hey, Jeanette McDonald, your Eddie Nelson's here. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, Archie. Uh, and he's ready for a night to remember. Read it. I brought home a bottle of Taylor's Tawny Port. Here, what is this? Joey's party. <laughs> What's it doing in the living room? You're trying to keep flies out of the kitchen? No, I'm going to put it away until Joey's ready for toilet training. He don't need no training for that, idiot. That's the best thing he does. <laughs> well, Gloria says that wrong training can affect a child for life, and I guess she's right, because my mother had a neighbor, Mrs. Applebaum, and she had a little baby, Wilton Applebaum, and she started training him too early, and he kept sliding into the pot. <laughs> his mind because he grew up to be a terrible gambler and he was in this poker game once and this man said to him Wilton are you in the pot and Wilton shot him you tell swell stories Edith they're a little long but they're swell oh, but now listen listen get your mind off everything tonight but just just you and me huh a couple oh. of blasts of the tawny port here, upstairs early, and then case of Russia. Oh. Huh? Come on, come on, sit down.
down over here. Right on the lap. That's right. Just just move a little forward, Edith, so I can breathe. Yeah. Yeah, now, hi, Dad. Let me tell you what happened at the Sunshine Home today. No, I don't want to hear that, Edith. What is the matter with you lately? Every time I come home, you're busy doing a favor for the kids, you're babysitting for Joey, or you're down up and back and forth between here and a Sunshine Senior Citizen's home. I mean, Edith, uh, I feel kind of neglected around here. I'm worried about Mr. Klieger. Oh, geez, old Sunshine Klieger. Ain't he dead yet? <laughs> oh, no. I'm worried about him because he was so nervous today. Well, sure he's nervous. He's 100, ain't he? Oh, no, he's only 90. Oh, geez, a mere stribbling. Well, he wasn't nervous because he's 90. He was nervous because he wants to propose to Mrs. Uh, Freeman. Yes. And I got his teeth. <laughs> you got his teeth where? Right here. I'll show it to you. Oh, jeez. No, I don't want to look. Oh, she's just a I picked him up at the dentist for him. Put him away, will you? I just assume look at the kid's potty. Now, come on. Here, here. Now, let, let, let's dwell on you and me. First of all, hey, hey. I got a hell of a new story I want to tell you. This is a swell joke. Uh -huh. now, there's this Martian, see? <laughs> and he lands in New York. And he's over on 8th Avenue. See, he's got his antennas up in the air, and they're blinking and flashing there, and all electrified, and he goes into a bar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the joke? What's so funny about bar? Oh, I'm sorry, Archie. Go ahead. <laughs> Oh, he goes into the bar, see, and the first thing he sees is a pinball machine. So he goes over, he lays his hand on the pinball machine, and he says, what is a nice guy like you doing in a joint like this? <laughs> Why don't you laugh there? I'm waiting to hear what she said. <laughs> You know, I know some people that laugh like hell at that joke. Oh, I'm sorry, Archie. Tell it to me again. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind, I need it. No, no. How about a little toast to start the evening, huh? Oh. Here. To eat it. With you in my arms, the moon in the sky, love in my heart, and one hand on your thigh. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, I'll get it. Oh, I'll get it.